A good and great friend of the Great New Orleans Sports Foundation Quarterback Club. He's the director of external football relations for LSU football, a native of independence. He's in his 14th year with the LSU Athletic Department. He arrived at LSU in 2002 after coaching at Independence High School for 24 years, including 22 as head coach, winning 205 games, nine district championships, and made two state championship game appearances. He's a Southeastern graduate. LSU will entertain Jacksonville State Saturday at 6.30 p.m. at Tiger Stadium. Please give a warm Ready to Orleans Sports Foundation quarterback club welcome to Coach Charles Baglio of LSU. I've uh, been doing this 10 or 12 years for Kenny, and this might be the first time, uh, my first one, that uh, we've uh, lost, the, lost the game, first game. Usually it's always a good note to be up here, but today's not one of those days. <clears throat> we uh, had a tremendous uh, opportunity to go to Lambeau Field and play. Uh, we just didn't get the job done. Uh, Wisconsin is a, a very well, well coached football team. It's nothing to take away from what they did, but uh, we, we just didn't play as well as we're capable of playing. And uh, we've got to get it fixed, and uh, I'm sure that Coach Miles and the staff will get it fixed. Uh, we, had, we did have some, uh, some things that uh, happened during the game that uh, uh, when I was with the st statistics, you know, when you when you get 126 yards rushing, that's not our uh, not our football. You know, we like to run the football, and that's what Coach Miles has always done. Uh, we averaged 4.3 yards a rush, but we held Wisconsin to 3.2 yards a rush. Anytime you hold any team nowadays, as Jack was pointing out to 16 points or less, you're supposed to win the game. And uh, we weren't able to do that. Uh, when you turn it over, bad things happen. And that's what happened the other night, at the, uh, the other night at the end of the game, when, when we made a, a, a poor mental mistake and turned the ball over with a chance to kick the field goal to win the game. Uh, you just can't make those mistakes. Uh, and you know, we were limited to 50, 50 offensive snaps. You're not going to win many games with 50 snaps and the other team has 73. So it, it's a combination of things that went wrong. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I evaluated the film because I didn't. Uh, but we had some players that didn't play up to their potential. And, and to me, football is a third down game. By that I mean that the teams that can get the third down conversion. Most of them, or over 50% of them will win. And the teams that don't will lose. And we were two of 10 on third down. That's, that's not acceptable. I think defensively we, uh, you know, we, we, played, we played well enough to win. Had some kids on defense that played well. Davin Gottschall had nine tackles, played really well. Uh, Dar uh, Beckwith, Kendall Beckwith played well. And uh, New Orleans kid, a John Curtis kid, uh, Duke Riley had a great game. And uh, Coach's boy finally got his indoctrin indoctrination into the, as a true freshman. Michael Divinity played. And uh, we know now that uh, Geronte, Geronte Valentine is going to be a good player up in the middle because that's a key part of, of Coach Aranda's defense. So defensively, we felt real good. So uh, we just got to do a better job. We got to go back to work and do a better job. All right. Uh, we had a freshman kicker, punter, that didn't have a good game. And, uh, you want me to blame that on Bradley Dale? That's his brother-in-law coaches him. But you know when you got a freshman out there, 18 year old freshman, uh, 32, uh, 32 yard average is not going to get it done. So, but he, he's a, he's going to be a good player. So, it'll get better with him. I know a lot of you have some questions, and that's why I, uh, I'm here. I'm going to give you the best answer I can give you. Politi 
politically correct. So make sure you understand that. Yes, sir. Coach, I, I'm just so surprised that this being the first game of the season, they're still having trouble getting the play in. I mean, what's going on? Uh, maybe we had too many men, too many coaches on the field. We had all night up on the field this week, so I really don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's a, it's a quarterback communication with thing. I really don't know why uh, it's a problem to get them in. It doesn't seem like it should be. You're correct. Not not. But first game, maybe you can contribute some of it to that. Let's hope that's what it is. And did the booty kid think that, that the player was alive? Down and that's why he wouldn't hit him? Or? That's, what he, that's what he said. Okay. That's what he said. But he got suspended. He's going to be suspended for the next game? Yeah, I think LSU took the action so the SEC wouldn't have to. Okay. That's what happened. Yes, sir. Two, uh, two death chart questions. You just brought up kick. Yeah. Jack Johnson, I, I watched him kick in high school two years ago. I thought it was fantastic. What, where is he? Who is that? Adam? Gonsolin, kicker for Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Is he on the team? Is he, has any shot of being a kicker? I mean, and he was a dual guy, he was a punter and kicker. Yeah. And do you, you know about him? I mean, is he got. Yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about. But I think this kid is the, is the kid that they, they gave a scholarship to, Groudon kid, and uh, he's, had a, he's had a great summer camp. It's just one of those things, he just didn't punt it well the other night. Uh, I, Field goal kicker is a kid from New Orleans that had to wreck. Everybody uh, well documented. And uh, he's our field goal kicker right now. But the other kid, Connor Cole, is another one that we had signed that's pushing him. So, But the kid, the punter, is, has been having the best camp, let put it that way. So that's why he punted. So this kid's got no shot in your mind? Oh, no, I, I didn't say that. But as of right now, he doesn't. No. All right. Qu quarterback depth. What, what is the quarterback depth chart? And is there any chance of that changing? Uh, the depth chart is uh, <laughs> Harris is number one. Etling is number two. And, you know, that doesn't go too far beyond that. Does it have a chance to change it? Uh, I, I really can't answer the question. Uh, Coach Cam Cameron probably could. Coach Miles could. I would. I would think that if it continues to be poor execution, I would. I would think that they will, just like any other position, uh, make a change. If that happens. I don't know. Yes, sir. Are we a better practice team than a game team? We are what now? A better practice team. Do we look great at practice and? And they just can't execute come the game day, or are we, are we having problems at practice too that we're not? Privileged? No, I wouldn't say that. You know, I, I really wouldn't. I just, I think that, you know, you, you you take the game, this first game, and you and hopefully you throw it out the window and and you get back and, and from then on it, it's okay. But we just didn't go down there ready to play. I mean, it, that's what it looked like. We didn't. <laughs> that's what it looked like. I'm sure you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I don't mean to ask an awkward question, but if things did work out, do uh, you know what his buyout is? Can you explain that? And what, how unusual is what Steve Spurrier did, you know, just walking away like that, saying, I'm not helping the school anymore, my stuff's not working anymore, and just walking away without his, without his buyout? Um, yeah. Uh, is that a negotiated thing between the coaches? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to answer the buyout. I have no idea what the buyout is. Right. But what Steve Spurrier did is I think he had had enough, and I think he wanted to give the guy that took the arm job a chance to earn the head job, and the guy did not earn the head job. That's what that's what happened with Spurrier. That's what I think. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Why did they send the fan? What's that? Why did they not send the band to Wombo Bill? Because this was history. I know. You're right. Uh, I would think that's a Joe Oliva question. Because Money. bands can make a big difference. Who's that? I said the band can make a big oh, yeah. difference. I'm not saying that they would have won the ball game, but 
No, I know what you're talking about. I don't. I really don't know. I, just, I know it was a big trip for an awful lot of people, and I guess well, I, I thought they had some band people there. The people that I because I think the team had to use the band plane to come back. The people that I talked to. On the and we, had, we had a problem with the plane. Yes, man. I don't. I really don't. Know. As always, thank you very much. Appreciate it.